Uh, just the back door. Shortcut. There's more water than land out there. Is it dangerous? Only if you go over your head. been a bit of this going on lately. What happened? I've well, got a fair idea he's doing it. Tonight. Sure. Aunt Kathleen, how are you? Oh, oh you've grown, hasn't you, Donald? You've shot up. <laughs> Never put you as ten. <laughs> I'm twelve. Well, lunch is nearly ready. Oh, my books. This one's got my clothes. Trip for a couple of years. Still cutting into your holiday. I'm back at boarding school next week. I bet you wish you could have gone with them. Oh no. The southern hemisphere is at its best this time of year. It's the Pleiades, the Southern Cross. I'm secretary of the School Astronomical Society, you know. Yeah, your mum said you were starry eyed. I'm sure she didn't. <laughs> a very keen student of astronomy. And uh, you brought your telescope? Yes, I'd better get it out of the car. Oh, I'll give you a hand. Oh, Gretchen, are those the only clothes you brought? Just trousers and tops? Didn't Mum pack any dresses? Mum didn't do my packing. I did. Agent Celestium, we'll put the Crab Nebulae right in your backyard. Oh, dear. I hate seafood. <laughs> Mascot, weather vane. I well, would be if it ever moved. I've never seen one like that before. Oh, it's not a real one. Just a bit of old junk. There used to be an airfield here in the war. Is it off an aircraft? Been there since I was a nipper. Well, should be safe in here.
Ooh, looks expensive. Two thousand dollars. That's a fair whack for a hobby. Not a hobby, Uncle. Oh, I don't know. I haven't used it for years. You can have a go on later. Here. Uh, we will... Kathleen and I uh, hope you like it here, Gretchen. Not much to do. Oh, I can always find something to do. Yeah. <laughs> sure you can. Come on. I'll show you something else. I'm sure that isn't part of an aeroplane. Like one of those modern art things. I call it the brass daisy. <laughs> Come on. Engines aren't made of brass. Lady Connie and daughter. Prize winners. Oh, and lovely. That's more like it. <laughs> Ronnie. Yeah? Some cows broke through the back fence. Come and help us round uh, up? I've got something to do in town. Someone else have a go. It's now the kids here. They all got tired of waiting. I paid my 20 cents. Can't help but buy the best. I want to make more than 20 cents a day out of it. Clapped out, didn't I? Where'd you get it? A junk shop? You watch your cheek, lad. Um, Mrs. Kearney. My pleasure. Uh, Mr. Mitchell, there's a list. Yeah, I'll I'll attend to it right away. Back. Still throwing mud around? Thought you were someone else. Who? Hey. You're pretty good at that. I've won competitions, so have I. Yeah. Let the little girl have a go. Little? throwing mud at. They're trying to drain the swamp. She is. That won't be a minute. Slip over and get yourself a milkshake. No. That boy's there. Mr. Kepper. This is Elliot. And you're forming an association of landholders to block sales around the swamp? That's right. The boy's a kid. The old man ran off. And they don't blame him. Money doesn't come into it. Yes, with all due respect, Mr. Caper, we've had this argument before. And it's like talking to a brick wall. Yes, I know the feeling. Oh, yes, and uh, someone's been pulling up the survey pegs yet again. Ronnie!
won't be long. Thanks. Um, should I? I mean, I'm happy to help. From what I've heard, you and kitchens don't mix. You, uh, you seem to have sorted this out, though. Trial run tomorrow. That needs oiling, it squeaks. I've never heard it make a sound. Do those blade things ever move? Not that I know of. If you do find it quiet round here, you only have to say. I won't. I like it here. Good. I've told you about pulling up those survey pegs. You don't want the wood to go ahead either. On our land. But if the other sell. We persuade them not to. I know you meant well. Are you going to send me home? Do you want to go? The swamp is very special for us, Ronnie. Our people. Tamafano. I know. It's tapu. You may know the word. Do you understand it? Forbidden. It's more than that. You must never break a tapu. If you do, bad things happen. Come on. You can help me sort out the lines. How are you going fishing? After tea. There's a monster eel in the river. I'm feeling lucky. Can I come? Sure. You're the bait. I should really tell you about how they work. There are three mirrors. One down here to collect the light. Uh, the eye thing's all bent. Well, this mirror here reflects the light at 45 degrees. Oh, yes. Now, can you have a look at the Seven Sisters? The what? The Pleiades. It's an asterism. A star cluster. Go on, Uncle Donald. It's set. The seven sisters, eh? Well, six of them must have gone out for the night. Oh, Donald. <laughs> well, I can only see one. There are more than 200 stars in the cluster. How did that happen? <laughs> did you make a mistake? That's a different constellation. That star's in Canis Major. Can I have a look? Oh. It's very bright. What's it called? It's serious. Maybe you knocked it off balance. No. 
that were set on the Seven Sisters. Couldn't have just moved over to the Dog Star. The what? Sirius, the Dog Star. Did you hear that? What? Love, it's chilly. We better get inside. We'll look at the other one tomorrow night. Well, I'll do the honours. You two put the kettle on. I can get a few people behind me, Mrs. Uh, Elliot. Quite a lot of us want to see this town go ahead. There's a ton of potential. Mm. Bevis, I've been looking for you. Just getting some recordings. Back to the hotel, please. Hurry up. All right. Mm. Some hobby. Eh? Bird noises. You know? Flutter, flutter, tweet, tweet. Your Uncle Hemi made this. Can you make them? Yes. Doesn't the light scare them off? The light attracts them. We'll catch half a dozen if we're lucky. You can buy them in the supermarket without all the hassle. They don't taste as good. Those tattoos are neat. Are they really? Well, no. They're a bit ugly. And they mark you for life, Ronnie. I got them in the old days. And I couldn't keep my hands to myself. Why'd you do that? Why'd you give your parents a hard time? Dunno. I don't seem to fit anywhere. You could try fitting here. How long does this take? A few hours. Come on. We'll check it in the morning. You're in the country now. Learn some patience. Good night. I noticed you didn't bring any toys. I haven't got any. I'm 12. <laughs> Does that boy Ronnie live here? He's staying. Like you. His uncle's trying to straighten him out. Things are different here. Hmm. They're quieter. Are you going to read all these? My last term's coming up. I have to study. But you're a class ahead already. Yes, but then there's university. I'm doing astrophysics and I mm. think I'm... A... In the morning. Your mum said you were single-minded. Did you know, in a couple of years, these will be flying right into deep space. That's what I want to do. Be a pilot? No, an explorer. Mars, Venus, other solar systems. It's not a dream. I can do it. I know, but take your time. Don't wait for you. Good night.